What's up guys, Top Tier Yu-Gi-Oh here. Today I want to show you guys a really cool combo to where all you need is one scapegoat and any other monster, and you're going to be able to end with Ningarisu the World Chalice Warrior and Ib the World Chalice Priestess. It's a really insane combo because Ningarisu is going to draw one card when it's summoned next to Ib, so you're going to be able to draw a card, and then it has like a scrap dragon effect, so you can send one card from each player side of the field to the graveyard, and that does not target. And it has a respectable 2500 attack. And then Ib protects it from being destroyed and then when Ib is linked Ib herself can't be destroyed and she also can't be targeted so you be, you're able to make a pretty strong board off of just scapegoat and any other monster you get the draw card and it sets you up for other plays too because you have links that are pointing to other directions so it's a really cool combo so let's go ahead and get into it so for the sake of this combo we are going to be using a mild turkey because this turkey could use a little bit of spice and this is a very spicy combo and again we need scapegoat and now the only restriction on the monster that we're using is that it's a different type and attribute from the scapegoat tokens because Ib requires two monsters with different types and attributes. And so we can't use anything that is either Earth or Beast. And so Mild Turkey is acceptable for this combo. So, And now scapegoat has a restriction to where when this card is activated you can't summon monsters in the same turn. So usually what you're going to be doing is setting scapegoat as a defensive card and then if you're not dying then you use it at the end of your opponent's turn and then on your turn you can summon and then do all the combos and so this is assuming you're activating this on your opponent's turn and so what you're going to do first is activate the scapegoat and you're going to get the four tokens so after using scapegoat to summon your four tokens you're going to use the first token to make a link spider next under the link spider you're going to summon a proxy dragon using two of your tokens Now you're going to normal summon your monster, which in this case is our wild turkey. And now we're going to use the token and the turkey to make Ib. And now finally, we're going to use the link spider and the proxy dragon to make Ningarisu. And then we can summon it in either spot here, it doesn't really matter. So now, because we summoned Ningarisu, and there is another World Chalice monster next to it, we're going to be able to draw one card. And so our ending board is Ningarisu, Ib, and an extra card in hand. So now that we've gone through this awesome combo, I think it really works best in three different types of decks, or decks that really share any of these characteristics. And so the first thing that you want to look for when playing this sort of combo is that you want to have a deck that can make multiple summons per turn. And so Zodiacs are a pretty decent example of that. Or, there are a lot of other examples as well, but this is just what came to mind for me at first. And so you don't want to have to normal summon your monster to use for this combo, and then not be able to summon again for the turn. And so you want to have cards like Barrage that give you multiple summons. And again, there are many other archetypes that you can do this with. Actually, not not do because they're Earth, so you can't make Ib. So that's going to make it actually pretty tricky. It will be doable once Link Haribo comes out, but as of now, I don't think it would work actually. Not with Zoo, so... Never mind Zoo, but just you do want something that has extra summons. So even though Zoo specifically don't work, remember this characteristic when deck building. The next type of deck or characteristic that you want is something with cards that are good when sent to the graveyard. Because you're going to be Link summoning, so you want something to actually happen when you do that. So you just don't neg when you know Link summoning. And so decks like ABCs or any sort of plant deck or anything with Tengu work great, I think. Because both of these have effects when sent from the field to the graveyard. So these are really good examples as well. And the third characteristic that I like to look for for a combo like this would be monsters that do something on normal summon. And so World Chalice, Infernoids, and uh, Dinos come to mind for this. Because all of these, when normal summon, do something. And so when you use them for linking, you already have like something else going on, you know what I mean? So like, when you make this board after summoning Lee, you have something else in your hand that you can summon and then just like make other plays with pretty much. Same with Oviraptor, so like, you could summon Oviraptor, search Miscellaneousaurus, and after the combo said and done, you could banish Miscellaneous from the graveyard to like, have a monster on the board along with the Link monsters. So you have something to send to the graveyard with Ningarisu. Or Decatron, you could summon back your Infernoids after sending everything to the graveyard. And so I really like the ability to make a secondary play after the scapegoat play. So I think that's a really important thing to, to think about. Wait, hold up, before you go, I did just think of an alternative combo, so 
if for any reason you can't do the previous combo to where you make Ningarisu and Ib, you get the draw card, and then do the Scrap Dragon effect, if that doesn't work for some reason, like let's say you play an Earth deck so you can't make Ib easily, or let's say you just don't have in your extra deck, like you already did the combo once, you drew a second scapegoat. But like for any reason that this doesn't work out, I just realized something else that you could do with the same cards that's still pretty good. And so let's go ahead and go through that. So same thing, we're assuming you're activating scapegoat on your opponent's turn and you have the turkey in your hand. So let's see, you're going to get four tokens. One, two, three, four. So then... On your turn, you want to normal summon the turkey. And then what you can do is use one of the tokens to make a link spider. And we can do that in the extra monster zone. And then you use the other four monsters to make a firewall dragon. So then the firewall dragon is mutually linked with the link spider. And so you can use firewall's effect to add something from your graveyard or field to the hand. So this can be useful for recurring some of your resources. If there's a card you want in the graveyard back in your hand, like a maxi or... I don't know, some kind of extender maybe, but it's also good for clearing your opponent's boards. And if you do have another special summon in play, you can trigger the firewall's effect maybe and keep summoning from your hand. So this is also a pretty useful combo to keep in your arsenal if you are playing scapegoat. So I just wanted to bring that up as well. But anyways, I just wanted to share this quick combo with you guys just to try it out in some of your decks. If you have any suggestions for decks that you'd like to see me try it out in, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the combo, again, leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.